Yo, what's up, what's up, family? Hope everybody having a good day. Coming on here for day nine, health and wellness, community check-in, just to let y'all know like how everything going on my end. Make sure that y'all like, subscribe, share with other people. You never know who needs this motivation as it relates to health and wellness. So, now that we got that out of the way, I just really wanna come on here just to share something with you guys as it relates to continuing our, our journey with health and wellness. So. One of the things that I wanted to share with you guys is that one, it was a great day. I went out, I did a lot of activity. I looked at my watch like probably like an hour ago and I already had about about eight, eight, mm, 8,000, almost 9,000 steps for the day already. And it's an off day. Like this is a day where I'm really not been doing too much activity, but the weather was nice. So we got out as a family and did some activities. And then I went walking after that. And then I also got into the yard doing some yard work, but really just, again, staying move, like moving as much as possible. And that was the thing I, I seen on Instagram, this one guy that I follow for fitness, he was saying, sometimes you say, oh, it's the weekend, so you know, I'm just gonna lay around the house. And what happens when we just lay around the house and we're not moving, we're not burning the calories, but yet we're still eating normally as if we're burning those calories. And that's why sometimes people who do good Monday through Friday with, you know, um, having meal prep and then the weekend coming like, man, why am I not seeing any, you know, loss in my weight or inches and things like that? Because you move in during the week, Monday through Friday, but then when the weekend come, you're eating probably indulging even more to make up for what you already did during the week. So, um, you know, just keep that in your mind as well. Like making sure that you get out moving as much as possible. Even if you just get out, go to the park, to go for a walk, like just do some type of movement every day. And, and, and it's, as I said earlier in the other uh, videos, they say that people who walk eight to 10,000 steps a day live 51% 50, more than the other person that does not. So that shows you right there that health and wellness is important for our body. We have to make sure that we can consistently train our body um, to get what it needs and we need to exercise that's make sure the blood flowing the right way making sure that we're getting out getting fresh air getting the sun and all that good stuff right so i wanted to share that and then the other thing that i wanted to share as well is that like i really want this focus today to be like open our mindset like open our mind to new things and what i mean by that is that going on this health and wellness journey like I realize that now I can't go into restaurants or when I'm ordering food and trying things that I normally look at on the menu. So now I gotta go in there looking at the vegetarian options, going in there looking at the seafood options, which I still dibbled and dabbled with the seafood before, but now that I'm not eating anything but seafood, I have to look at other options, options that I probably would have never tried if I wasn't in this position right now on this health and wellness journey. Last night I had this, um, this uh, salmon poke bowl, like it was so good. Like I, I went to this. I've, we've been going to this place for years. Never went there. Never looked at this thing on the menu. I'm talking about when I say never, never, never even knew it was on the menu. Got it. It was so good. Like I'm talking about to the point. I was like, yo, I'm gonna get this again. Like just on some. Even if I wasn't just focusing on just seafood, right? And so. I say that to say like, we don't know what's out there unless we open up our mind to trying new things. And that what they say is that once you try new things, you get new results. So at the end of the day, when you're doing something productive, something positive, that's aligned with your goals and where you're going, you'll see those positive results. And I can tell you guys, as my own testimony, like just starting this for the nine days, I'm already down about four pounds. I feel better. I look better, you know, like from a standpoint, I can see it in my face. I can see it in my body, like where it's starting to shift. And I'm looking forward to when we get to the back end, the 15, the back end of those 15 days, because I'm about to go crazy. I'm gonna start really lifting the weight. So it's like, I'm just dropping down, dropping down the, the body the body mass, the body fat, so that now I can get to the weights and go crazy. So just wanted to share that with you guys. That's the focus that I wanna share with you guys. Open your mind to new things. When it, as it relates to whether that's working out, the way that you work out, how you work out, how frequent you work out, or your nutrition, what it is that you put in your body. Sometimes we get so stuck into what we've been eating our whole lives, where it's like, oh, this is what I eat, this is what I like, I'm not touching nothing else, but we have to open up our mind. We open our mind, we can you know, try things where it's more, you know, where we, we get in the, 
the right calories we're getting food that tastes good but yet it's also healthy for us so that's where i wanted to share with you guys today i hope that y'all having a great day um and look man be consistent that's what i'm gonna tell you be consistent we almost there we almost there but you got to keep going we got to keep going so that's my encouragement for y'all make sure that y'all like subscribe share with somebody else you never know who need this health and wellness journey encouragement every day so if you got any things that you guys doing best practices please share with me put it in the comments as always love is love page